Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can find the focus of a parabola. Start simple, all right? Let's take a parabola with the center at the origin. And let's think of this parabola as being ax squared, where a is some constant here. All right, now the focus is actually determined by the a directrix line and the parabola and the, and the ratio between the distances of, from a point on the curve to the focus and to this directrix line is, has to be one, meaning these two things have to be the same. So the ratio is one from here to here. So using that in particular, this distance is the same as this distance. So kind of drawing this a little bit bigger here. This is P and this is P say, and this is the origin, okay. Now also, well, what if I went horizontally out this way? And then I went down. Well, this distance has to be the same as this distance. And I already know what this distance is from over here. If I think of it in terms of P, it's 2P, which means this also has to be 2P. Remember, this is the origin. So the x-axis is actually right here. This is the directrix, remember? And it's Y is equal to negative P. But this is the x-axis right here. So this point on the curve actually has an x-coordinate of 2P has a y coordinate, well, just of p, because it's the x-axis just coming up here to that point, that's p. Now, this is a point on the curve, y is equal to ax squared. So if we were to plug in 2p for x and p for y, we would have 4 p squared a is equal to p. Now, assuming p is non-zero, we can divide by p and get one is equal to four a p, or p is equal to one over four a, meaning, <clears throat> meaning in particular that if I give you something like y is equal to three x squared, then the p value of where the focus is located is simply one over four times that leading coefficient here of 12. So one over 12. So I would know that I would go up one over 12 and down one over 12 to the, vert to the directrix um, and up one over 12 to the focus. Okay, great. So we just multiply leading coefficient by four and take the reciprocal, but what about um, if we have something that looks like this, y is equal to um, uh, 5x squared minus 2x plus 3. What would I do now? Well, this really just is present because of a shifting. So really, it's the same thing again. If you were to find the, um, the vertex, to find the p-value is very easy. You just take one over four times five, one over 20, and we got it. Now, we would have to complete the square in this one though, in order to see where that vertex would be located. So we could factor out a five, um, and then we'd have x squared minus two over five x plus three, and then we can take, um, we can write this as five times uh, x minus one fifth squared. Um, and, then, and then we would have uh, minus one over 25, we're doing the square, we can multiply this five in, get minus, minus a fifth. 
plus three. So, um, so we end up getting 14 fifths um, right here. So we end up getting five X minus fifth squared um, plus 14 fifths. And so the center point would be at one fifth 14 five that would or the vertex that would be the vertex of the parabola um, and then we would know that we could go up one over 20 from that notice that really it's just a transformation of what we had before a shift even just a shift of the graph y equals 5x squared so really the location of the focus is completely determined by this first this first uh leading coefficient right here. Thanks for watching.